Hello punks, I'm going to show you how to establish a colony at the old dreadnought. If this video helps you, please like it, leave a silly comment for the algorithm, and don't subscribe to me. Alright, to establish a colony, we're going to need these certain requirements. We need these cores, we're going to need some Frostland teams, and we're going to need some prefabs. Okay, so you should already know how prefabs work, I'm not really going to go through that. The cores are found randomly in, um, as you, uh, what's it called, your expiration, alright? They look like this. There's one right beside the area so that you need the cores for, so that's kind of nice. We're going to click on them, and we're going to salvage those parts. Perfect. All right, so now we need to connect a path to this area. So we're going to go ahead and click on it, and we're going to see these, um, these, uh, these black things. So we're going to go ahead and click on them, and then we can move further down. We can sometimes connect to other areas like this that lets us expand even further. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and connect here. These pins are the way station. So then we just go ahead. Oh, I don't have enough uh, money to complete it. Oh, well, well, I would have just pressed the check mark to complete it, and that connects it to the way station. Okay, apparently you don't even have to have the way station built. I thought the way station had to be built in order to do this, but apparently I am wrong about that. All right, cool. All right, so I finally have enough space to, I mean, enough requirements to build the path. All right, I got enough of my Frostland teams. By the way, if you don't know how to get more Frostland teams, you just have to build more of these logistic districts. And as you can see here, this is what it provides. And as you expand it, it will provide even more. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on it again. Connect path. Okay, let's click on that. Hmm, I thought I had it in like... Okay, what if I connect it here again? Yeah, if I connect it there. It's a shame. Can I just do this instead? Yeah, there we go. And then connect it there. Press plus. And there you go. Now they're going to start building this connection, which will allow us to send colonists over there. We're going to send 3,000 colonists over there very soon. Let's wait for this connection to be built. How long did it say? A couple weeks or something. Okay, so now that my path is built, I'm going to go ahead and click on it again. And we're going to go ahead and send the colonists. Now, keep in mind, this is going to take 3,000 colonists from your main city. So let's go ahead and send them over. You can see it just went down. Okay, so they're going to head over there. It also uses these materials. Another 15 weeks, we're going to have to wait. Okay, so they finally made their way over there. It's been 15 weeks. Let's head inside and see what they're up to. <clears throat> All right, so this is the same kind of map that you had in the prologue. Um, so we've now established the, uh, the colony on the Dreadnought, which will let us build here like it's any other regular colony. Um, you'll have different stats, um, just like it's if it's a different colony. You can even see a different population and all that stuff. So if we actually zoom out and then go back to London, we'll see that our original stats are back now. So there we go. So that's how you establish... A colony in the old dreadnought. If this video helped you, please like it. Leave a silly comment for the algorithm and don't subscribe to me.